If the country's population continues to rise and there's not enough land to accommodate everyone, what options does it have? Everyone should be able to call a modern metropolis home. But as these areas expand, it will become harder for people to meet their fundamental needs. Even though China seems to be at a standstill, the cost of living, including rent for housing and transportation costs, continues to grow. The opposite is true. What we're going to go into detail about in today's video is how. We discuss the most innovative construction project in China, which will almost surely solve the country's population problem. In this clip, we will also discuss the plan and its benefits for China in great depth. Ready? Proceed with the plan. Having an incredible 14 billion residents, the number of cities in China is 687. Almost all of the cities provided homes for more than a million people. In addition, these areas really do provide the best and most modern amenities to its citizens. Both residents and business owners may benefit from the facilities they provide. Nonetheless, despite the fact that the economies of these cities have a noticeable impact on the Chinese economy as a whole, this the number of people living in China continues to rise. Most people want to live in the most advanced cities so that they can provide their kids the best opportunities in life. Beijing, China, was selected as the nation's capital because of its remarkable level of development, and many Chinese families have followed suit. With a population of roughly 21 million, inadequate housing became an urgent issue. Hence, in 2021, it was challenging to find a location for less than $17,000 a square meter. Yet people continue to invest heavily in apartments. It's proof that urbanization and high costs are inevitable realities of modern life. Housing so many people in one place is bad for China's GDP. Last year, for instance, drivers were restricted in how long they could spend on account of the unprecedented volume of traffic. China has to find a solution to this issue, which is causing untold hardship for rural residents and costing the country GDP $11 billion. The actual issue is finding a safe haven for these people. They can't live in such remote areas because of their lack of resources. Some individuals in China's less urbanized rural regions make what? China now has a problem on its hands if all of its cities look like they're from the future and it needs to be fixed immediately. Yet. If you think allowing people to settle in rural areas is your sole choice for accepting them, you'd be wrong. The Chinese government is always planning ahead, and this time it has a solution that will improve the quality of life for all Chinese people while also boosting the economy. A brilliant solution to this issue has come to my attention. What if a city the size of Beijing sprang up in rural China? We understand that it is challenging to simultaneously develop all rural areas. But what if China only succeeds in constructing a single ultra-modern metropolis in these outlying areas? Providing a new home for Beijing's non-essential operations. This idea seemed ridiculous before China got started on it. The infrastructure of this brand, new megacity, has already been established. For Beijing, this is a huge relief. As pressure is relieved, a massive metropolis will emerge as a new economic hub. On February 10, 2015, she shared her idea with the community. He said a brand new metropolis would be built in, hey, by very soon. The Chinese government made the project public and gave the city its name in April of 2017. As a bonus, the city is located near the largest freshwater lake in all of northern China. Its initial face will be roughly 38 square kilometers in size. Soon after the project is finished, many corporate positions in education and finance will be filled by actors and actresses. After that second stage is complete, it will contain an area of 198 square kilometers. This area will serve as the heart of Shellman's commercial district. Retail outlets, recreational areas, and lodging establishments are just some of the many planned for construction in this area. Transport hubs like train and bus stations will also be built during this time period. After that, the second phase will focus on the core of urban clusters. After these areas are established, a 1,000 square kilometer region will be established all the way around the city to make room for lakes, forests, and farmland. Existing communities within 1,000 square kilometers of this area will be modernized and linked together. Additionally, once this task is complete, the individual's lungs will have reached their full capacity for the amount of air they have taken in. There will be a central database where everything is kept in a, that regulates traffic, 
both regular taxation and taxation based on autonomous vehicles will be administered. These amenities are being provided at no cost to China because they will facilitate the country's modernization effort. In addition, it will establish Shoman as a cutting-edge commercial and technological hub. Many new technology businesses will seek to enter the high-technology industry, and hopefully many will succeed. 75% of the city's economy will come from the high-tech sector, but that's not all it will do. Children will also be taken into account as many horizontal discussion boards starting with amazing technology and providing the city's residents with a steady supply of fresh produce. The beauty and verdancy of the area as a whole will be enhanced by the creation of several smaller parks. After their neighboring towns and villages have been modernized, the villagers there will become more appealing to young people. 70% of the mathematics in the kids' area will be in green. Given that the proposed mode of transportation is electric, its environmental impact would be minimal, especially when combined with the use of renewable energy sources like wind and solar. When the structure is finished, geothermal power plants will supply most of the electricity. As a result, the children are likely to be born in one of China's most desirable metropolitan areas. The city will be linked to the rest of the metropolitan area by rail. Several rail lines will be built, connecting Xiamen to major urban centers like Beijing. The full price tag for China is $580 billion. In the future city's planned development zone, more than 60 communities and 1 million people now call it home. The building process began in December of 2017. Around 8, 5% of the city was finished by 2020. 1. How will all of China gain from this new metropolis being built? That is the question that needs to be answered today. To begin, the city's size makes it possible to support a variety of industries that would have failed in smaller, less populous cities. This will help advance both innovation and artistic pursuits due to the improved accessibility provided by the new train lines. Additionally, the status of China's railways abroad will improve. Humanity's GDP is projected to approach $298 billion. As a result of the competition, not only will the kids serve as role models for future endeavors of a similar nature, but China will also gain experience in creating modern, habitable settlements in previously inaccessible areas. There will be a lot more work for locals to do in the construction industry as well. Without a doubt, this will have beneficial effects on the Chinese economy and the Chinese people. As an added bonus, there is zero uncertainty that this will be a game-changing development. Do you think it's possible to construct cities in rural areas elsewhere? Or is this a crazy idea that's only possible in China? Chinese engineers, however, are eager to take on the challenge of building the complex structure. To learn more about China's most shocking project, click on the videos below.